Blessed Epiphany. I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. And I hope you had a wonderful Christmas celebrating the birth of Christ. We're together with your congregations, receiving Christ's body and blood, and also had a great time with your family and friends. Now, if you're like me, uh, you've got to think about a little bit of dieting, I suppose. But that's another matter. It's Epiphany. And Luther preached in a wonderful sermon on Epiphany how important this festival is for us to teach us how to live. In fact, Luther calls it something like the art of Christian living. He says, hold on to the word. If we want to seek and find this child Jesus, we must believe the word, stick to it, and not allow ourselves to be diverted from it. If we disregard the word, the offense has already occurred, for this child is so humble and wretched to look at that it is impossible for one to approach by one's reason apart from the word. That is, the Bible says this one born in a manger is God Almighty, creator of the universe. And then Luther goes on to say, the greatest and foremost skill, no matter who the person is, is to cling firmly to the word and conceive of the things of God in no other way than as the word tells us. For this reason, we should accustom ourselves to know nothing about God and Christ apart from the word of God. If we have the word, we ought to stand firmly on it and say, you may want to make Christ a judge or a jailer, but his word says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I'm sticking to the word, Luther says. Dear friends, this is going to be an interesting year. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure you are too. And yet we look forward with some kind of trepidation. Everything's in flux in the world these days with wars and rumors of wars political challenges, economic challenges, terrorism, and many, many other things that bother and trouble us. Stick to the word. Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Blessed Epiphany.